Too many people feel as if they need to grip the club in their palm or their lifeline. And what happens when they do that, the first thing that always goes, not only in a golf swing, but in a putting stroke, is grip pressure. So when your grip pressure gets real tight, you get real tense in your forearms and your shoulders, and you end up pushing your putts. Your arms go out, your hands go out in front of that putter head, and you push them down the line. Well, Seymour, what Seymour teaches and Pat O'Brien teaches is that we like to have that grip more in your fingers than in the palms of your lifeline. And what happens when that does, when you do that, you don't get as tense in your forearms and your shoulders, but at the same time, you're still allowed to release that putter head and finish that stroke every single time. Also, by having the grip in your right hand a little bit more along the side of the grip, you're going to bring that putter head back naturally along an arc without thinking about it. Think of how many times you see people with that right hand too weak on top of that putter head. Without them thinking about it, their natural takeaway is outside that line. They're taking it outside that line. So then what they have to do, if they think they want to make an arc stroke, they got to tell their hands to make an arc stroke. Well, with Seymour, we want your hand to be a little bit more on the side. So without thinking about it, you're taking that putter head back down the line and barely inside. 